Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today kicks off our 2023 Organize With Me videos, and we are starting in the pantry. I am so excited to do this video with you guys today. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson, and I love to do all things home cooking, cleaning, decorating, and DIYs, and I would love it if you would subscribe, and if you are returning, it is so great to see you. Okay, let's jump into today's video. Good morning, Enzo. You want to say good morning? Do you want to say good morning? Say good morning. Oh, look at the lobbies. You so love your people, huh? She's so happy. Okay, so today's project is this. It may be a two-day project, but here's what I'm going to do. I've kind of outlined everything I want to do for this space. Um, obviously, we've got a lot of work to do in here. Okay, I think Enzo got some of her water. She's been going outside and it's pouring rain. Here we go. Are you going outside in the rain? Did you do that? Did you do it? So cute. So tiny. You get your little nose juices on. They're so cute. So I'm thinking of having things like panko and, and taking them out of these boxes and putting them into clear front kind of like this so I can see what I have and I need lately I have been needing things and like this type of stuff but lately I've been needing things out of here and I'm having to pull every single one out because it's not as organized as our old house at the old house I knew exactly what was where but um like this one has pasta down here it's like random pasta nuts trail mix jam like this isn't this isn't right I also don't like the fact that you can see the can. So what I'm thinking is putting something on the outside of these to say what they are. Putting, you know, like dinner stuff here and breakfast stuff here, or snacks here, and kind of like organizing everything into zones. And then using the leftover black bins for this type of stuff because it just looks really messy. Eventually, um, we will gut this pantry and redo it just because these these don't it makes it really difficult to do things this way so um that'll be you know sometime this year i'm not sure when but like up there it's we've just kind of been storing random things that don't need to be there so we're going to work on that and yeah it's going to be a long process i kind of made a list but i didn't bring it down here i'll share with you guys a little bit later um oh god no wonder it's so cold show you guys the rain it has just been raining and raining it's been wonderful we've been loving it huh mama girl so nice that's what i kind of have going on for today so to get started we are going to take everything out of the pantry and put it onto the island and probably over onto the countertops then we're going to inventory everything we're going to go shopping and then we're going to put everything back i am so excited we're slowly slowly going to get ready for um Valentine's Day. When I put these up, I just got so excited. So I'm really looking forward to doing Valentine's Day and my flowers are still thriving, looking so happy and beautiful. And my husband brings me flowers, I feel like almost every single week. And this is what he brought yesterday. So pretty, so happy. But okay, I'm stalling. <laughs> Let's get to work. started in the pantry, I am going to actually remove everything from the space, clean up things that are going to stay in there like mixers and whatnot, and just get everything pulled out so I can see what we actually have. And then I'm going to start making a list of all of the different containers I am either going to use to decant some of these items or store them. But for now, we're just going to remove everything and start with a nice fresh canvas. So we have pretty much most of the pantry cleaned out. I'm not gonna move the cans just because that's gonna, I am gonna already organize them here anyway. So um, we're obviously going to make them look a lot prettier than that. But here's how the shelves are looking. We're gonna just wipe them down. I moved some of my uh, glass up there. These are looking pretty nice. I removed everything from here. We just wanna clean this off a little bit so we'll go ahead and do that and then 
As far as this area is concerned, I may, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. We're going to go look for some things to possibly put all this in just to make it look a little more organized. Um, and then I could do like Christmas, fall, red, blue, green, whatever. And then over here, I'm just going to get all of this stuff situated. I think I'm going to put all of it up there. And it looks like people have been stockpiling stuff in this corner. So we're going to take all that down as well. And then we'll clean. Here is everything from the pantry. And I've got stuff over here as well. So I've got cleaning supplies. And this is just all random. Totally random stuff. Um, we will most likely pull all of this stuff out and set it on the counter. And then put these boxes somewhere else. And then over here we have all the plastic bins. Just totally random. What I've started to do on this side is assemble the clear bins to see what I have. And um, we're going to start listing out what else we want to put in a clear bin. These are just like dry goods and stuff. So we have that. And then after, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go through. We're going to clean the shelves in here. And then I'm going to take post-its and start to outline what I want to put in here. And I want to start to kind of visualize how it's going to look. I may use these for things like all of the seasonal tablescape stuff and uh, cleaning supplies, but I'm not sure yet. And then we might get some more bins for dry goods. But like over here, half of these I've lost the tops to, so we're going to inventory that and get rid of what we don't have, you know, if I have bento boxes without tops on it. I also have these from the old house. This was all out in the garage, so we might, may or may not use those for something today. So I just want to get all of this kind of organized and make sense of the pantry. Okay guys, let's keep working. Once you get your pantry space all cleared out, it's important to give it a nice clean. I haven't cleaned this since we moved in in September, so it's nice to get everything really deep cleaned. Throughout the seasons, I would recommend taking the shelves apart one by one, um, maybe not all at the same time. So take the top shelf down, clean it, put everything back, then remove things from the second shelf. That way you can keep your pantry nice and clean throughout the entire year of 2023. So now that I have all of my bins out, I'm going to actually take everything out of them and just store these bins to the side so I can see exactly what we have. When I was unboxing all of this, I realized how many things I had kind of stockpiled in here that I, like pasta for example, that I thought we were low on, uh, but it was just in the wrong place. So I've always been kind of um, a proponent of keeping things in their original packaging and using them uh, throughout the week. And I found that this new system, now that I've done it, it's been a couple days since I finished this project, but I found that actually being able to see the raw ingredients has really helped me keep the pantry more organized and also has been a game changer for my meal planning, which I will talk about um, either later in this video or in an upcoming video.
So now we have everything out of the boxes. And what I'm gonna do now is go through, I'm just gonna grab like a piece of paper and write down things that I want to put in, um, like decant them or put them in different vessels, like breadcrumbs I use a lot. So I've slowly started compiling everything over here. This is dry goods, so what we'll do is put these in a box, but anything that's open and I have like, that's not um, expired, we will condense into decanters. So what I'm gonna do is go through and put like flour, flour, hold on a second. flour and sugar, things like this, and start making a list of how large the vessel needs to be and what goes in it. And then I have lots of rice. I also have things I know that I like to eat that I don't have a ton of. So like brown rice, bas bas basmati rice, um, quinoa, lentils, black lentils, paella, Spanish mix, like those will all have their own boxes and then all the different pastas I use, which were about five. Then we'll do the same thing for cereals and snacks. So like um, any kind of chips, once we open chips, we'll go in here or uh, crackers, goldfish, anything like that. We have snacks like this I'm just gonna leave because these are really for entertaining. They'll go into one of the black bins over here. And then Again, we'll do the same thing over here. So pasta sauces, where we want to put those. Obviously, they'll probably go in the black bin. Um, all of this will stay together. So things like this we'll want to kind of conceal into a bin. I'm thinking of, this is another video, not going to do this today, of building in little drawers here that come out. And on those, we'll also be putting all of this in the pantry as well. I don't want it here anymore. Um, my husband keeps forgetting it's down there, so I want to make sure he can see it because we both cook a lot. But I want to add things like this because I have a lot of specialty hot sauces and whatnot. I also want to decant all of these salt, all this salt into a nice um, jar as well. So once I'm done making the list, we're going to go shopping, which is my favorite part, and uh, start getting what we need. I'm also going to take a photo of everything before I leave, so while I'm at the store, I can... Um, gauge kind of what I already have and don't have so I don't rebuy things. I got the racks in here. I think I'm going to move them down here because I don't totally want to look at them. I think we're going to do things like pasta rice. So here's all the things that we're going to use daily and then here's the storage version of them. So if it's like pasta, pasta sauce, all of that, then over here will be the black bins with extra. Same thing here. So we'll expose what we have, extra, and then I've got like mixers and whatnot, we'll probably put up there or over here. And then extra dry goods for the kids, lunch snacks. I'm, what I'm probably gonna do is split this up. So lunch snacks will go here and here and um, breakfast stuff so they can reach it instead of going all the way down because down there it gets a little tight. And then down there is where I'll put like extra things. I'm not totally sure what we're doing down there, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. But it looks good, I got that all cleaned up. It's very easy to grab those and get them down. Um, we got a sous vide machine from my dad, and so we are gonna start doing some very cool sous vide recipes as well. Definitely be sharing those on my channel. Um, and then a couple extra things my husband found in the garage. So let's go ahead and we'll make our list. We are also going to, once we get back, use post-its to kind of put together where we're going to put things. I think once we get them in their vessels, it will make more sense and it will flow better than me trying to do that now. So let's go ahead and do that. Then we'll come back, get all this stuff put away and organized. But here is how it looks right now.
So once you're done going through all of the food that you do have and taking a nice inventory of items that you are either low on, have too much of, really what I'm trying to do is create a stockpile list of things that I am constantly looking for in the pantry. And from that, I'm going to actually make a printable that stays in there. So if things are low, let's say that somebody eats all the trail mix Anybody in the family can look and see trail mix is on the list of things that we always keep in the pantry and to let me know we need to restock or to put it on the list. Then what I'm going to do is use post-its and kind of just outline exactly where all of these brand new bins are going to go. Once I'm done with that, then I went to the store and picked out what we needed. Okay guys, so that took us an hour to clean all of these. Wow, that took a long time. Uh, my husband and I did it together, so like he washed and then I dried everything. And uh, then we had lunch and now we're ready to get back to work. So here's everything. I'm going to slowly picking out what's gonna go in each. I'm gonna use a little post-it. That way I kind of know what's gonna go where, uh, what fits where. These ones are great. This is kind of the medium size that we have, which I like too. I don't want it to be too crowded in here, but I would for sure like to have the bigger ones. They're 12 and a half inches. So we might run to the store real quick and grab those. But anywho, that is what we got, and now we're gonna start filling them. So before I get started, I wanna actually use all of the dry goods I have and just measure to make sure they're gonna fit in the boxes that I picked up before I got started. Otherwise, I wanted to run back to the store. And I also wanted to get the cans kind of tucked away. I did move this shelf down one just because I didn't really want them to be a prominent fixture in the pantry. I kinda of wanna keep them down below, plus they're heavy and it's just easier to put them down there. So we're gonna get all of those organized. If you guys watch my organized with me in the pantry video from our old house, you know that these are the same ones we have had there and I just wanted to reincorporate them into this pantry. Once we're done with this, we're going to start filling the vessels and I'm using larger vessels for things that I have I use, you know, more often than other things. Uh, they're not going to be filled all the way. We'll do <laughs> something like that later on this year, just like refilling and restocking. I'll definitely be doing videos like that, but once we're done here, we're going to fill all those and then get them organized in the pantry. So the way that I organized this is I, when I was doing that inventory sheet, I was putting plus marks on things that I know I buy a lot of like spaghetti or rice, um, different types of like penne pasta, rigatoni, just kind of depends on um, what you eat a lot of in your house. I know we have a lot of uh, like different types of rice, but then I also do things like quinoa and things like that, but I don't do a lot of it. We do a ton of polenta. <laughs> I love polenta. I think it's awesome. But uh, so I ended up putting post-its on the vessels that I knew were larger. Whether or not I fill them up today wasn't really the point. The point was that they become the vessel that these things stay in. So I want to make sure that they could withstand the amount that I would buy later in uh, in the year. So we're gonna keep adding all of these to each of these vessels and just get them all nice and organized. I am not going to label these. I know exactly what they are. If somebody needs help in my pantry by knowing the difference between penne and pasta, I'm happy to share, you know, show people what it is. It's usually just my husband and I in there and we know what everything is anyway. So I have, I, I don't really want to spend the time labeling everything. I also think it looks a lot cleaner just looking at it. So we're going to get all of this put together and then we're going to go get it organized in the pantry. Tell me in the comments down below if you guys have done your pantry organized with me in 2023. And if not, when do you guys like to do most of your decluttering and cleaning for the new year? So 
once you get everything added to their vessels, here's how mine turned out. I have baking things, I have trail mix, snacks, pastas, rice, cereal, you name it. Whatever I wanted to put in there is in there and I'm ready to get it organized in the pantry. I'm gonna start with dry goods here when you first walk into the pantry on the left because that's typically where I go when I am super tired at five o'clock and getting ready to cook dinner. So we're gonna just load up the pastas and then I'm also gonna load up the rice up above. I have smaller vessels for things like um, some Spanish rice that I don't use all the time and then I have much larger vessels for the pasta. As you can see, I can already tell I'm getting low and we are definitely gonna have to do a grocery haul soon because there are lots of things I need to restock here. So I try to get everything nice and lined up and making sense. Over here, I'm gonna add all my baking stuff. This makes it very easy. I know most people uh, probably can't see it, but on the back of all of those is a small piece of tape outlining exactly what's inside. And then over here, I just have grab and go snacks. So I have lots of trail mix, nuts, uh, all kinds of raisins and just yummy things to grab and go when my husband and I are making protein bowls. And then I'm going to add some boxes. I end up changing these out because I don't actually want to see things like pasta and um, like pasta sauce and I always like to keep roasted bell peppers on hand and pimentos and things like that. So I actually end up taking all of this and adding it into those black bins. I just think it looks cleaner. I really don't wanna look at it, but what I do like is that I can tell just by looking in the box exactly what's supposed to go in there because everything is labeled. On this side, we're gonna add one whole shelf of cereals. We have different granolas depending on whether it's for the kids or myself or my husband. I have Kix, we have Cheerios, we have pancake mix. Um, I think we may even have, we have a couple different cereals the kids like to have. And then I'm gonna add their uh, oatmeal on the end. And then up above are kid-friendly snacks. So whatever the kids are looking for when they come home from school, that's the shelf that they can go to. And then way up high will be their lunch snacks. I really prefer that the kids don't eat these types of snacks throughout the day. These are specific for their lunches, their grab and go for sporting events and for when friends are over. So we're going to put those a little bit higher this time around to kind of help them uh, stick to the snacks that we prefer that they eat and keep these for on the go snacks. But we will go ahead and organize all of these grab and go bins and then we're almost done. So here is how everything turned out. So nice and clean and simple. It's amazing to look back at the amount of clutter that was in here and a lack of visibility into the things I had. I really feel like being able to step in here on Sunday morning and writing out my weekly meal plan, I can at least see exactly what I have. It's in very clear bins. And when I'm doing my restocking and grocery shopping, I can see exactly what we need to reorder. I use a lot of canned stuff for all kinds of different recipes and I love that I can ex see exactly what we have and um, our pastas uh, sauces and all kinds of other things are tucked away in these bins but I know what's in there so it will really help we love to have healthy grab-and-go snacks for us adults my kids aren't really into this type of stuff yet so um, that doesn't mean that my husband and I don't love it, so I like to have it there. And then here's all my stuff for baking, which is great because we're gonna do lots of baking recipes this year. I have a little bit of chocolate there. And then on this side, 
I have a little lunch station, all their snacks up high. I have some backup stock for all kinds of dry goods and then their daily snacks when they get home as well as their cereal down below. I've got all their waters for school, bento boxes. I ended up putting these all in separate bins. That way in the morning, all I have to do is just grab one of these. There's three of them. So as I clean them throughout the week, I can just restock and pull that out in the morning. These are my little lunch uh, boxes that I like to use. And then here are the silicone cups I like to use and the little mini forks. So this really helps keep my morning streamlined and the kids can come in and grab what they need and it makes things real simple. Now that we're done, I definitely want to go back to the kitchen and clean everything. The surfaces are super dirty, so we're going to give everything a nice deep clean. I keep telling you guys in each of my videos kind of how our countertops have been holding up. If you are new here, we just painted our countertops, which were dark green and black granite. We painted them white. Uh, I will link that video down below if you guys are looking for a good DIY for 2023. Um, they're amazing, super shiny. Uh, we had the kids right on them with a Sharpie, which was super fun, came right out. Uh, so I'm very pleased with this countertop paint so far. And the cabinets are perfect with the paint we used on there too, which is a no sanding, stripping, uh, and no priming paint. We just got to paint right over the wood and I couldn't be happier. So I will definitely link that video if you guys are looking for some inspiration for 2023. We have so many DIYs coming up on this channel, so please don't forget to subscribe. I cannot tell you how grateful I am for your support of my channel and I have so much more coming up. I have a couple major announcements coming up in 2023. So I hope you guys stick around to find out what they are because I'm doing it for you. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one real soon. Bye.